Let's talk about routing. Routes are rules that map URLs and URL patterns to your templates, to content, other URLs, or other parts of the application. And you can know that's true because it says so in the docs. All right, let's jump right into it. Routes are defined in your routes.yaml file, which can be found in site slash settings or under the configure section of the control panel. Routes are all defined in YAML and are usually a key and value pair mapping something to something. Let's start with the most basic route, a URL to a template. They're so simple, we just call them routes. Now, if you haven't worked with YAML yet, you should go watch a video on YAML or read the docs. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just key value pairs using a colon. Okay, so we're gonna just assume you've got that much and start mapping a URL, for example, about a sauce to a template. In this case, we'll call it playground because we're using this sample playground file. Now, if I come back to the site and go to about slash uh, sauce, you'll see we end up on this same template. Now, the content disappeared because it was being loaded from the page. So now there's no content. Well, thankfully, you can actually pass data. You can just shove variables right into the template using your route. You just have to change the syntax a little bit. So instead of a simple key value, we go with what's called an associative array or a named list, uh, you might say. So drop this down, nest it underneath, and explicitly define it as template. Now you can define anything else you can imagine here. We'll give it some content. We'll just type some lorem ipsum in there, and there we go. That's a little bit long. Did that bother you too? Yeah, that's way better. Uh, you can pass uh, and override content. You can do all sorts of stuff here. You can set content type to XML uh, content type or JSON if you're trying to do like a, an XML feed or something like that. But this is a really basic pattern, URL to template or URL to kind of package of data into your template. You can even change the layout this way. This should probably break something. Yep, because none doesn't exist, which was expected and therefore not a problem. All right, what's this? Uh, opening and dun, dun, dun. yep, XML error, see? Look at that, debugging on the fly. Okay, next. Now, this is an explicit single static URL. You can actually use wildcards here. You can use an asterisk in which case it'll be about slash anything, anything, M-E-U-E thing, whatever you want. Um, of course, if you keep going, you're gonna throw some 404s. Um, or you can name that wildcard by putting it in, uh, creating a variable name, wrapping it in curly braces, and then you can actually pass that into your template like this. And we'll give it title case modifier to make it pretty about applesauce. Look at that. So whatever you want is gonna be passed in there. Whatever is in that URL. If you're going to use this for some reason, like you have some sort of dynamic content being generated on the fly, uh, make sure to sanitize user input. That's how XSS happens. So you could do that with sanitize. And you're safe. Okay, so we've mapped the URL to a template or to a template and some extra data. Let's map something else to a URL, like a collection. Now this sample site, I'm using the storyteller theme, uh, which you can put, uh, you can find on GitHub. I'll put uh, the link to it in the doodly-doo. We've got a collection here called articles. And there's a couple entries in here. And right now, because we're in the routes file, you can see that they have no URL. So if we were to loop through those, they wouldn't have any. In fact, let's start with that as if we're writing tests or something, right? Um, we'll go back to playground just for consistency. And then here we will loop through collection, actually collection, yeah, articles. And we'll close that and 
we'll just list the title and the URL out so you can physically see it. All right. Title, no URL, just blank, the home page, which is expected. Uh, let's put this back to title. All right, we'll come down here and we just create the collection section of the routes definition and name the collection, which is articles, and you give it a URL, like articles. But if we were to do that, they'd all have the same URL and well, that's useless. So we have to make them dynamic somehow. Every piece of content or rather every entry has a slug. So this is literally the most common way to set up your collection. In fact, it would be the default now they each have a unique URL. Maybe you're coming from a WordPress style site and you want to have um, the year and the month. Well, we can support that. Now they've got this URL pattern, uh, even down to the day if you want. So there's a, in the docs, you'll find a section uh, that shows you the different uh, variables that are available in your routes. So that is super useful. Same thing uh, works for taxonomies. So you would name the taxonomy like tags, and then you would give it the pattern like articles, tags, slug. And that would generate the taxonomies. I think in this particular theme, I called it topics. And so if we were to come over here, let's see articles, topics. Yeah, it's not all wired up because I've kind of disconnected it, but that's how that would work. Next, let's look at mapping a URL to another URL, which sounds suspiciously like a redirect, doesn't it? Let's take, um, let's see, one of these uh, entries, because we don't have that much content. We're kind of slinging around here. Simplify it a little bit. Just article slash slug. Okay, we'll take articles mark. Let's say for whatever reason, we just want to have this short slug, uh, short URL called mark. Um, that would be called a vanity URL. So we'll create vanity, which are 302s. They're temporary redirects. If you want to permanently redirect something somewhere else, use a permanent redirect, a 301. You can do that on the server side or in a route. And I'll show you how to do that after this. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing here, set mark. Uh, and then the URL from to the URL we want to send it to. And you'll see, uh, we'll go to the home page just to kind of clear the URL. We'll go to uh, slash mark and we will bounce to articles slash mark. So that's pretty cool. But if you wanted to make that a, a permanent redirect, you would just set this section to redirect mark to article slash mark. And if you were to watch the redirect cycle, you would see that the 301 flag was called. So um, redirect is permanent, vanity is temporary. Like maybe you have a marketing campaign or you have a, a vanity URL that you wanna set up for like um, some sort of special event, you can do that and bounce it somewhere else. Or maybe, you know, you're sponsoring a podcast. You get the idea. All right, time for the rad tip. You can actually load content from anywhere in your site, from any piece of content or from any URL in your site and inject that data into a route like so. I've created this about slash mark route and we're gonna load the data from about or rather from articles slash mark. So if we go to about slash mark, oh hi mark is the title. There's also a subtitle variable, I believe if we look up yeah, we've got that. So that should load in as well. So you can pass in the URL or let's grab the ID of this other piece of content, the another one. Pass it the ID and it will load the data from that. That can load from a page, from uh, entries, from globals, uh, users, whatever you want. Uh, use it creatively, don't use it all. Uh, that's up to you, but it's there for you if you need it.